Dave, I imagine there's a bit of relief about the goal, but is there also a real pleasure that you've come to Stamford Bridge and won the game with such a good performance? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's important we start to show that consistency again, which we did last season, and put a run of results together. And it's uh, it's nice to follow up the Swansea result with a, a big result here tonight. Because it was a tough start as well, wasn't it? Them going ahead so early on. Yeah, I think it took us a little bit of time to find our feet in the game, and um, they've obviously got a lot of quality, and they caused us a few problems uh, early on in the first half. But I think obviously getting the goal. Um, before half time, uh, the belief started to come back into us, and we've shown in the second half that we fully deserved to, to win the game and cause them a number of problems. And it's been a while since your last goal. How did you feel after seeing that one hit the back of the net? Uh, well, I thought I'd save it for a good, good occasion. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been a frustrating time, but I had a chance earlier on in the game uh, and I snatched that a little bit and was disappointed with that. So it was a great layoff from Graziano. It's nice to, to see it hit the back of the net, and hopefully that's the start of a few to come. What can that do for your confidence, though, especially in front of goal? Yeah, of course, it's uh, been a little bit frustrating whenever you don't get a goal for so long. And uh, to be honest, it, it, it's kind of been so long that it kind of, kind of hasn't played on my mind because it has been that. You go into games, start to think, and you're going to score, and it doesn't happen. And today I didn't think I was going to score, and it did happen. So uh, maybe that's the way to go. But um, it was an important goal for us. Delighted to get the goal, and obviously delighted to get three points. Just how good was that second half performance from the whole team? Yeah, I thought it was very good. I thought, um, obviously, Sadio started to find pockets of space, and we know he can cause all sorts of problems, and he does. And, uh, we came out in the second half a really high tempo and causing them a few problems at the back and unlucky not to go ahead before we did but we kept plugging away and, and find, finding spaces and also defensively I thought every man done their job it's important that you stay compact, compact against a team like Chelsea and uh, overall it was just really a great performance and I thought he deserved three points. When you've got players like Sadio in front of you are you always confident there's going to be chances created it's just a case of taking them and showing that clinical edge? Yeah you know he's a threat and um, you're always looking to try and find him in those, those spaces and um, he's a difficult player to mark and whenever he gets one-on-one -on -one with somebody there's every chance he's going to beat him so he's a great player for us to have in the team but I don't really like to single out anybody today I thought everybody to a man did their jobs and um, it was a real team performance It's been quite tough on the road in, in recent months in fact for Southampton what was it here today that just gave you that edge to go on and get that win? I don't know I think obviously um, it's always going to take a bit of time with, with the changes we had in the summer and new players coming in I think even since the first game of the season we've seen a gradual progression and the positive starting to creep back in and we're gradually getting better each week so um, hopefully we can continue to do that we've had two good results in the bounce now and uh, go away the international break enjoy our time where countries hopefully and come back ready to go again against uh, Leicester Do you feel like you took advantage of what was a fragile Chelsea team today with the run they've had at the start of the season? Yeah I mean we, we've been there with the Chelsea players haven't I think whenever things are going against you and um, they get themselves ahead and we manage to get ourselves back in the game before half time then uh, start, maybe start to to question themselves a little bit in the second half as I say um, we, we deserve to win the game What will this do for everyone's confidence especially now going into the international break? Yeah it's always nice to go away on a, on a good note and uh, we definitely did that today